Yo, so Chang Li has arrived officially in Wuthering Waves across all servers, so you know what that means. It's time to build ourselves a top tier Chang Li. Now, I do have some codes to give away that Kuro Games gave me, so leave a comment down below about what your favorite thing about Chang Li is, and then I'll get in contact with you to give you like a Discord link or something like that so that I can DM you the individual codes because they are one use only and it's first come first serve, so get on it. Now let's get into this build guide. First we're going to go over echoes, then weapons, and then character synergy and team building after that. If you needed a video going over what level up materials you need for Chang Li, I do have a separate video for that, so check the pinned comment and description down below. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the different main sets for the echoes that we could be using for her, and then we'll take a look at the individual main stats and substats after that. The reason why we're here, of course, is for the Sonata effects. First, we're going to take a look at the Molden, Molten Rift, sorry. Uh, and you get plus 10% fusion damage for the two-piece bonus, and you get with the five-piece bonus, fusion damage plus 30% for 15 seconds after releasing the resonance skill. With her, that's a very easy ask because she gets two uses of her skill. This means that even if you goof up and you use it kind of early, rather than have to wait for it to be able to be used again, you have another one in the back pocket potentially if you needed to use that. Now let's go ahead and take a look here at the main echo we can use, the only main echo we can use for her with this set, and that's the Inferno Rider. Hopefully one day we'll get something more specialized for her, so maybe something like a phoenix, nudge nudge, wink wink, I don't know, Pearl Games, maybe you could give her something cool like a phoenix, because she's a phoenix! Anyways, um, one day maybe we'll get something individualized for her, but as it stands right now, it's kind of convenient with this Inferno Rider, because you can farm out her ascension material, at the same time, you are farming out her main Echo, which is definitely a convenient and easy to slot in thing. There's only one option for her there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Moonlit Cloud set. This is what you would use if you're going to use a quick swap team for her. This is like basically the quick swap team set, right? Um, so upon using your outro skill, it increases the attack of the next resonator by 22.5% for 15 seconds. And that's of course with the five piece bonus. And I do recommend using the five piece bonus with all three of the sets we're going to be mentioning here right now. So obviously Moonlit Cloud set, you're going to probably want to be running this here as your main echo. It's the Impermanence Heron. Definitely use that one because she wants to be dealing more damage. And homeboy over here, the Bellborn Geo Shalon, whatever that is, uh, he can be used, but you're not going to want to use that with uh, your Chang Li. He just doesn't, he doesn't have the juice, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and take a look here at the Lingering Tune set. This is the last set. This, can, this set can basically be used on any DPS character right now, except for Yan Wu, because he has a defense scaling sort of system. So you can definitely run this uh, mech abomination if you are going to be using her for this set. But I would recommend, like I said, going with the Molten Rift set. This is the best one in my opinion. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these main stats for our Echoes. Then we'll take a look at substats after that. Now, this is my day one Chang Li, so please try to aim for higher than you see me have here. Because, again, this is my day one Chang Li. I've been very busy with other games and other uploads, so I wasn't able to get her quite where I want her to be. She's still a work in progress. Now, with this particular set, we're using the Molten Rift set. You only have the 43311 setup. There is no other option because she only has one option for the main stat. Technically, with the Moonlit Cloud set, you could go with a 44111 setup that is an option for you if you felt so inclined. But the 43311 setup is better long term down the line. So just keep that in mind, guys. Now, with the main echo here, you're going to want to go with either a crit rate main stat or a crit damage substat. Now, most of the time, crit rate is more valued for your main stat for your main echo in this game because crit rate is super important because you get a lot of crit damage without even putting any echoes on your character. You start with 150% crit damage, which is insanely strong. So crit rate is very highly valued and more important to farm out. It also is very important because if you don't crit, your crit damage doesn't matter. So you need a lot of crit rate in order to make sure you actually crit. So prioritize crit rate in most cases. There's our exceptions to this. For example, if you've been getting a ton of crit rate in your substats and maybe your main weapon has a main stat of crit rate, you might have like more crit rate than you really need. And that's a good opportunity to use a crit damage main stat. But that's what I recommend for the main echo. Now, for the actual like three cost echoes here, 
I recommend going with, of course, Fusion Damage. This is very highly recommended. I go with the Fusion Damage on her for both of the main Echoes. You see I have an HP piece here. This is just a filler slot until I get another Fusion piece because for some reason, this game doesn't want to give me another Fusion 3 cost Echo. I don't know why. I guess that they hate me or something. But you could also run an attack piece here instead of running both of them fusion. However, in most cases, the fusion is usually the better stat to go with because you could always get some attack percent in your sub stats. So I would recommend going with fusion damage on both the three cost echoes and try to get some attack percent in your sub stats. And speaking of attack percent, for the one cost echoes, I would recommend going with attack percent for both of the echoes. That's just the way to go if you want the character to deal more damage, and Chang Li is a very, very damaging sub DPS. She has a ton of personal damage of her own, and she also can technically buff the next resonator that comes after her with her outro skill. So definitely build towards her damage potential. As far as the substats are concerned, I recommend going after crit rate, crit damage, attack percent, resonance skill damage, resonance liberation damage, heavy attack damage, basic attack damage, energy regen, and flat attack. And I tried to put these in a general order of what you might want to prioritize first, but it genuinely just depends on your play style because there is some variation to what you might want to go for depending on how you play her. All right, now let's take a look at some of the weapon options that we have for Chang Li. We have here her signature weapon, the Blazing Brilliance, and this thing looks sick. However, it's not necessarily that much better than the five star standard banner option we have. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. Let's take a look at this first. It has a attack, like a flat attack main stat, as well as a crit damage main stat. And that's really, really solid. Like if you have enough crit rate substats, this weapon can pop the hell off with your build. Like the one that I have going right now has a lot of crit rate substats. This weapon could be bonkers on what I'm currently building for her. Now, let's take a look at the main effect here. Crimson Phoenix, attack increased by 12%. The equipper gains one stack of Searing Feather upon dealing damage, which can be triggered once every 0.5 seconds, and gains five stacks of the same effect upon casting Resonance Skill, which again, she has two uses, so this is going to synergize with her very well. Each stack of Searing Feather gives 4% additional Resonance Skill damage bonus for up to 14 stacks. After reaching the max stacks, all stacks will be removed in 12 seconds. So this can be a really, really solid weapon option for her. It's her best in slot technically, but it's not necessarily that much better than the next best option, which is the five star Emerald Genesis weapon from the standard banner. And that is this weapon right here, the Emerald Genesis. It has a flat attack and a crit rate main stat and the main effect is Stormy Resolution increases energy regen by 12.8%. When Resonance Skill is cast, it increases the attack by 6%, stacking up to two times. This effect lasts for 10 seconds. So you might have noticed something about both of these weapons. They both synergize with her skill, and she uses her skill very often. She has two uses of it, which not every character in the game has. It's somewhat rare. And so this works very, very well with Chang Li's kit. And it also has a crit main stat. This is a very, very solid weapon. One of, if not the best weapon off of the standard banner for five star weapons. So if you haven't already used your weapon box on this weapon, this is a very, very solid choice for your level 45 weapon box or for your first choice with the weapon banner. Very, very solid choice, and you could use this on multiple characters, not just Chang Li. So don't feel pressured into pulling her signature weapon if you've already got this or you're working towards getting this. It's a very, very solid weapon for her. Do not feel pressured to go for her main weapon. Now, as far as a couple of four-star options are concerned, you could also run the Lunar Cutter on her. It has both a flat attack and an attack percent main stat which does mean you're going to rely on substats alone in order to give her enough crit value to properly crit with her. Now let's take a look at the main effect. A preordained equipped resonator gains six stacks of oath upon entering the battlefield. Each stack increases attack by 2% up to six stacks. This effect can be triggered one time every 12 seconds. 
The equipped resonator loses one stack of oath every two seconds and gains six stacks upon defeating an enemy. So this is a solid option for her. However, it does want her to be on field a lot of the time. And depending on what kind of team you have set up for her, that might not be very ideal for her. Now, let's take a look at Overture here. This is actually on her weapon banner, I believe. Or, yeah, I believe it is on her weapon banner right now. And it has a flat attack and it has energy regen for the main stats. Let's take a look at the main effect. Ceaseless Aria when Resonance Skill is cast, which again, she's going to be doing that pretty often. It restores 8 Concerto energy. That's nice because it not only gives her normal energy regen, it gives her 8 Concerto energy. Gaining Concerto energy is not tied to your normal energy regen. People get this confused sometimes. These are different. Concerto energy is different than the other energy that you build off of this particular stat. So this is a pretty solid weapon for her if you're running her as more of a sub DPS type of character and this is going to be very solid to use. This effect can be triggered one time every 20 seconds. So this is not exactly like the best weapon for her, but there's a reason why it's on her weapon banner right now. It does work with her pretty well. Again, every time she uses her resonance skill, this could pop off. Let's go ahead and take a look at the different team synergies and character synergies that we have for Chang Li as it stands right now. So I wanted to show you guys something real quick so we understand why she's known as a sub DPS character and who we want to pair with her. So the incoming resonator after Chang Li has their fusion damage amplified by 20% and resonance liberation damage amplified by 25% for 10 seconds or until the resonator is switched out. This is Chang Li's outro skill. This is the main reason why people consider her to be a sub DPS character. She dishes out good damage of her own, but she's also meant to buff the next resonator unit that comes in after her. Half of this entire description is meant to buff fusion damage. So you're going to want to pair her potentially with somebody like Encore, who is a main DPS fusion character. So obviously a very strong team for her would be with someone like Verena or Baija as your healer, and then Chang Li, and then Encore. That's a very, very solid, powerful team. Now, there's obviously some other variants we could go with as well. For instance, the Resonance Liberation Damage bonus is the other half of this particular bonus. So you could lean into somebody like Jinshi or Rover, who are notorious for having very, very strong burst windows with their le Resonance Liberation Damage. They're you might call a resonance liberation like an ultimate or a burst whatever you might want to call it they're known for having very very powerful burst windows during that time period so you build that up you get chang li ready then once you have chang li's outro skill ready you use the outro skill going to either jinshi or rover and then you pop off with a very very powerful burst from the resonance liberation damage bonus you get from chang li when you pop off that nuke with somebody like Jinshi or Rover. So same type of healer setup, Verena, Baija, then Chang Li, then someone like Jinshi or Rover. Very, very solid options as well. There's gonna be a lot more variants to this as well. I just wanted to point out some very, very solid teams we already have that are very obvious to us that synergize very, very well without much investment. Now, as far as properly playing Chang Li is concerned, I decided to make a separate dedicated video for that because I know some of you don't necessarily care for that when you're just trying to find a build guide for her. So check down in the pinned comment and description below and stay tuned for that video once it's ready to go. I will link it down below once it is ready. And if you guys needed her ascension materials and level up materials, etc, etc, I do have a pre-farm guide for Chang Li that is in the pinned comment and description below already. And if you guys found any of this helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.